How's it going, everybody? It's Brandon, aka Dinos here. And not Brandon, aka not Brandon here. And we're back for episode number 21 of our Platinum Half Blind Challenge. The challenge is old enough to drink. Yeah, absolutely. That's actually kind of weird. Yeah. Wow. Take, take a shot for that one. Yeah. Um, and pour some out for the boys. At the same time. Yeah. Like, get ha get it half in your mouth and then half, like, on the ground. But, uh... <laughs> okay. That's a waste of alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're pouring it out for your homies. Oh, uh, well, you know. Also, you wouldn't pour a shot out, right? That's like a beer. Yeah, that's beer. That is absolutely beer. Yeah. So, anyway, anyway. In the last episode, uh, some shit went down. Well, first of all, we did a lot in the last episode. We fought uh, Crash Awake in his gym, and we... Had a little bit of trouble, but we got through relatively easily. Uh, then uh, some stuff went down at the Great Marsh, and shit blew up. And then we were like, no, dude, you can't run away. And we chased him. The looker came, and he was annoying. And then we fought the dude, and he's like, ah, oh, I'm going to die. Uh. And then uh, Cynthia came, and he she gave us the uh, secret potion to heal the Psyducks. So Yay! That's what we're going to do in this episode. We're going to heal the Psyducks and go on the next route. Quack. To see what's going on. Quack. So without any further ado... Goldberg. Psyducks are standing firm. They aren't... In inclined. Inclined to move. Would you like to use the secret potion? No! Yes. Dinos use the secret potion. The Psyduck appear to be cured of their chronic headache. Quack. Quack, quack. Quack. Flying V! Quack. 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 Okay. Quack. Alright. Can I move? Oh no, Cynthia's back. I love how you can't just fight the side, I can make a move. Yeah, right. Just knock it out. Oh, good. You used the secret potion I gave you. Quack. Side X are known to suffer from chronic headaches. Quack. But no one's been able to figure out what triggers the headaches. Oh yes, can I ask you a big favor? I want you to deliver this old charm to my grandmother in Celestic Town. You're just a random stranger with something. I know there are some rare Pokemon between here and Celestic Town, so it will be worth your while to go. Sure, for you, Cynthia, anything. I don't know you very well. I don't know why. You hitting on my girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> my grandma has this sort of bossy atmosphere about her. I think you'll recognize her right away. Yes, I'm sure you will. She's the elder of Celestic Town. And the location? Look on your, your town map. You can't miss it. Okay, I'm counting on you. See you again down the road. Wow, she's that rude she doesn't want to talk to her grandmother, so she's going to have some random kid delivered for I her. mean, I guess so. She sucks. I'll break it up with her. You're going to have yeah, her. Okay. Oh what my god! Hell? Surprise attack! I don't want Digitrio! Oh, that's a fucking that I'm not going to see. So basically, I guess there's three of these guys hidden somewhere. Whatever gets you through I'm the sure game. it's worth it. What? I'm sure they're all worth it. Find all three. Uh, I'm sure it's not. I'm sure they're just random battles and they don't give you anything for it. But, you know, whatever. To each their own, right? Are you going to be okay, Joel? Yeah. Are you sure? No. Oh. Is there anything I can do? Do you need to see a doctor? Yeah, there's something weird on my ball. Jesus. That is false. There is not. I mean, there might be. There could be. I checked. There is. Oh, okay, good. Like, wait, just now you checked? That's weird. Yeah, I checked like five times since I got here. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Oh, come on. It's the new team member. Fucking oh. Geo, dude. It's gonna be the same as the route uh, below. So. No, she said there was rare Pokemon here. Yeah, but this is technically still the same route. No. Yes, it is. No. Okay. Found a hyper potion. That's useful. And I'm not being sarcastic. It sounded like I was being sarcastic, but I'm not, I'm not being sarcastic. You're being sarcastic. Don't judge me. Here. Should I go this way to see if there's an item? Sure. Oh, there is an item. Look who knew. Nest ball. Probably not worth it. Here's a new item. And our sixth team member. Nope. Place your bets, guys. Yep, it's a Geodude. I would have been so you, hyped if that was. You you really want a Geodude, huh? No. <laughs> I would have been so excited if that was actually something. That would have been crazy. Text. I don't know what's over here that would be worth it, though. Oh, hold on. 
So there's fog in the area, but since Batman knows defog, we can just get rid of it. And the reason I want to get rid of it is in battle, it like lowers your accuracy. Yeah. So I'm just getting rid of it. I don't want any of that shit. Get out. Uh, that's a fighting dude, so I'm gonna switch Glider. Or Batman, to call him by his name. His god given name. I don't. What? I'm not sure if that was God that gave him the name. Oh, I can move Defog. Oh, he's just telling us how Defog works. Oh, he's no. not a trainer at all! He faked me out! Yeah, I kind of, we kind of already knew that, though. I, I know. That was kind of given. Defog gets rid of fog. Did you know that? Crazy, right? That there's a dude right there. He's not he's not tricking me. I see you. And there's our new team member here. Man, you really want to get that six team member, huh? Oh, too okay, soon. Okay, well. Maybe I mean help. it's not really too soon, but whatever. Can I run away? Yes. Good, good. You know, I say it all the time, so eventually it's gonna be. Uh, yeah. If you say it every for every Pokemon we run into, you'll be right. Not at this rate. No, there's there's not a lot of good Pokemon over here. Or this whole game, really. Hey, let's not let's not go that far. To be fair, we did lose four good Pokemon. Eh. In our in, in the game's defense. All right, let's see what's up here. Off court. All right. Useful. Yeah. Sick. There's probably like a hidden item there, right? Maybe, but we have a red shard. That's what's important. I don't know if that's important or not. I don't know where the red shard person is, to be completely honest with you. But this is a cool trainer, I think. It means a really cool. Damn, she looks pretty cool. Yeah. Dude, a palm. I wish I could be like the cool kids. Me too. They always seem to fit in. All I want is to fit in. Why does this thing have water pulse? Stop it! Oh my god. Uh, giraffe rig? Oh, I'm gonna stay in. That's a psychic type. I don't know why you're saying a psychic type of against dark type, but whatever. Get out. Don't light screen. Stop it. Oof. Cujo! Uh, Gruel? I'm gonna stay in, but I'm gonna hyper potion. That's what I'm gonna do. <sighs> That's a super potion. That is a super potion. That's all I want to do. It's okay. Guys, it's okay. Guys, it's okay. It's okay. So, Joel, what game are you most looking forward to all day 15? Honestly, Star Wars Battlefront. Yeah? Yeah. I would say that it's either that, or, for me, it's either that or uh, Fallout. Oh, I never got through Fallout 3. I didn't have the attention span, so. Yeah, that's okay. It's for me, really. So, as you know, Joel, I own a, I own a PlayStation 4, 360, and uh, Wii U. Yes. Now, while we're sitting here going through a bunch of random battles, um, I'm just going to give you my opinion on the basically the debate between uh, three, or, uh, PS4 and uh, Xbox One. I like my PS4 way better. The reason being, uh, oh come on, I wanted to switch who was in second, but it wouldn't let me even though I was pressing the button. No, who's on first? Zack and Jen. What? What does that mean? Oh, man. He said, oh I wanted to, he said you wanted to switch who's on second. I said, no, who's on first? Oh, <laughs> you dick. Ah. This is kind of a not favorable matchup. Let's just get rid of the Raichu. No, he's going to Thunderbolt. Come on, you can live it. We live in. There you go. Gyarados is going to miss his Aqua Tail. Kujo get paralyzed. Oh, come on! You couldn't even finish it off, and we both get paralyzed from that? This is stupid. Uh, let's bite. My quick attack, and hopefully I don't get paralyzed. There we go. I should take it out. Good. Raichu's gone. Aqua Tail. Kujo's gone. <laughs> nice. <coughs> uh, let's see. Not Batman. He's weak to water, but that's okay. I'm just gonna Night Slash him, and bite, I guess. 
Live it. Nope. <laughs> what are you to try. doing? Oh my god, this thing's level 36, that's why. What are you I doing? I just realized that this thing is level 36. It's okay. Not Misfit is gonna come in clutch here. Uh, okay. Come on. Don't leer me. That's right, get out. I don't like you, Gyarados. Zack and Jen have been defeated. Damn, they were some pretty cool kids, too. Yeah, they were. Uh, I'm gonna go heal. BRB. Okay, we're back. And we're ready to fight some more traitors. Whoa. So, this must be like Hipster Alley. There's so many cool kids. Oh, I know. I am sure we would not be welcome here. I might be. Oh, I just hit Spawn. Okay. We're, we're switching out of that. Uh, so, did you hear the, uh, the news about... Did you hear about that... He just pro played me. Yeah, he did. Hardcore. Oh my god. Uh. Get down. Uh, Batman. I don't know if the. the Why wouldn't you send out a Ubisoft? No, that's true. I for, because I forgot that he had a water move. Yeah, right then. <laughs> but, uh. Did you hear about that, uh. Uh. It was a hitchhiking robot? Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. The one that's going to San Francisco? Yeah. Did you hear, uh, what happened recently? Then someone do something stupid to it. Okay, so for those who don't know, uh, you gonna switch out? No, oh. that's the wrong button. Uh, for those who don't know, there was this hitchhiking uh, robot. It uh, started in Canada like last year. It went all the way across Canada, and then it, like it went all the way across Germany too. And then they decided to take it against uh, through the U.S. And it started in Salem, uh, Massachusetts. And so. Uh, Started in Salem, Massachusetts, and last week uh, it got to Philadelphia, and somebody took it off the street, took all the electronics out of it, and left the body. Of course they did. Yeah. Assholes. So it didn't even get halfway across the United States before someone fucked with it. Well, I mean, the pro issue was it went through Philadelphia. Well, yeah, but I mean, that that doesn't excuse the behavior. That's what I'm saying. It <laughs> didn't help that it went through Philadelphia. Right. Philadelphia is awful. Yeah, Philadelphia is awful. But I mean I'm sorry if you're from Philadelphia. But, but no, I'm more but, so sorry that you live there. But like we shouldn't also apologize because if you live in Philadelphia, you know. Yeah, I am not <laughs> apologizing because I might have insulted Philadelphia. I'm apologizing because you live there. Right. I am sorry. <laughs> so we're gonna go the secret way and see if we can find it. And don't it. even try to defend it because I know I know what it's like there. You've been? Yeah, I've been the floor. I've been to Philadelphia. Never been. And what, were you what were you, you born and raised there? No. Ooh. Oh, whoa. Shadow Ball. Hey. Uh, I think Gardevoir could learn that. We can give her coverage, but we'll we'll hold on to, hold on to it for now and uh, see what happens. There's a trainer right there. Tom Hyde, Tom. In West Philadelphia, born and raised. That's where I spent most of my days. The playground, Brandon. The playground is where you spent most of the days. Didn't I say that? No, you said that's where I spent most of my days. Oh, my bad. Speaking of uh, speaking of that, did you hear that story? Like I think it was last year now. It's an older story about uh, the uh, the kid who had that as his like uh, callback. Yeah. And like the the um, what was it? The like uh, doctor receptionist called him. I didn't hear this one. Okay, so what happened was is you know how you can set callbacks for your phone. Yeah. And like you know rather than like a dial tone, it's a song. And this was in Philadelphia, and the high school kid had this, and uh, the receptionist was calling to confirm a doctor's appointment, and she heard the song, and I guess she'd never seen French, French Prince of Bel-Air or heard that song before. Oh my god, how? So, I don't know. But, so, she goes, uh, she goes, uh, she's listening to it, and it gets to the part where it's like shooting b-ball in the what, after school or whatever. Oh boy. And instead of hearing shooting b ball, she hears shooting people. Oh my god. So she thinks this kid, like, shot people and then made a song about it. Oh my god. It was so stupid. And then the kid got arrested. Of course he did. Like, he, he ca she called it in and the kid got arrested. And, like, <laughs> they, they were interviewing him, trying to figure out what happened. He's like, what the fuck is this? 
All I wanted was a doctor's appointment. But I mean, how do you live in Philadelphia and never hear that song? I don't know. Well, I mean, you could probably get a prostate exam in prison. I don't. I don't think a high school kid was looking for a prostate exam. Ah, yeah, yeah you, you know. know I, I, I have a feeling about that one. <laughs> it might not be professional, and it might be not be used done with the right tools, but yeah, could be done. It could be done. It's probably going to be a lot more painful. Yeah, maybe. And less consensual. <laughs> uh, don't go to prison, kids. Yeah, you don't want to go. Yeah. Trust me, I've been there. No, you haven't. No, I haven't. <laughs> no, I was lying I, to the people I now. I visited. Yeah, what prison did you visit? Nah, I didn't visit. I was going to say, that's a bold-faced lie, sir. Nah, that's not bold-faced. I'm, I'm, I'm smiling right now. Haha. <laughs> I see what you did there. Aha. Calm down, it wasn't that funny. Oh, sorry. God. Sorry. In grade! <sighs> so back to movies, do you think, uh... Do you think that, uh... Straight Outta Compton's gonna be good? Uh, yeah, I think it's, I think it's gonna be very interesting. See, uh, I was watching the trailer for it, uh, the other day, and... There's a guy in it that basically sums up my feelings about the movie. It's a guy, he's talking He's talking to Dr. Dre, and he goes, I don't understand hip-hop, but I know what you guys are doing here is something special. And, I was, and to me, it's like, I don't understand hip-hop, but I know that their story is something that's like, it's an interesting story, and it's oh, yeah. important. Uh, so I, I really want to see the movie, and it looks really good. You know what's coming out, though? What? Not, not soon. Deadpool. Oh yeah, we should probably talk about that. Uh, at the day of this recording, like two days ago, the Deadpool trailer was originally. Uh, oh, was, we could use a water type move. Ready? Dead, watch uh, yeah, this. This, this is gonna be hype. This is gonna Whoa! Be hype. Oh, no, we're gonna take this take down first one. Alright, right, check this out. Boom! He's using water. That's yes! a, that is the first thing for everything. I know, right? First time for everything. Um. Uh, anyways. But yeah, uh, the trailer just came out, and like the official trailer, like there was a lot of like bootlegs after Comic Con, like people using like, like cell phones and everything. But like the real like high def trailer just came out, and that that movie looks so great. It looks so good. I cannot wait. I love how that it's so meta too, because they're like making jokes about like other superheroes. Like, yeah. Like he's in the part of the trailer, he's like, just don't give me a corny suit. Don't make it green, and don't make it animated. <laughs> so great. Oh, I love it. Did you see the teaser for the teaser? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, there's rare fucking Pokemon on this way. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Yeah, it's hey, so rare. Hey, rare Pokemon are hard to find, so there's one here. It's just not coming out. Is that why you're running through the grass? Maybe. Running through this grass with my woes. You know how that shit goes. Uh -huh. I'm just gonna stay, look around for a little bit to see if we can find something. My hopes aren't high, but... Here it is! I mean... It is a psychic fighting type. We could use a fighting type, but... Nah. Um, there is also a... So this is Celestic City right here. We have arrived. And there is another route to the left. Oh, that I think a lot has of different... What? A lot of badoofs. A lot of badoofs, maybe. Staravias. Maybe, dude. Do you want to go check really quick? Yeah, real quick. Real quick? Right so, before we end the episode? Yes. Let's do it. I say we end this one with a cliffhanger. What? End it with a cliffhanger. How so? We'll run into a wild Pokemon, and then we'll cut away before it shows up. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna do that. Ready? Watch this. Watch oh, this. Get this item. oh, here we go! Oh! Oh my god! We're not editing no. the episode like that. No, 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 no just no. kidding! <laughs> no, 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 no. Maybe if we actually run into something, I'll just do the reaction every single time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if you like the video now, uh, rate, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, have a good day or night, depending on where you are. And, uh, 
Let's see. Oh, here it is! Oh, oh my, my god. god! Look at that! Oh, it's, it's the same thing. That's the same thing. Okay. okay. Oh, that's a good one. That's gonna be the edge right there. Yeah, that's a, 